Hi everyone, welcome to the RPV Resonance Chemistry. Now uh, we will continue our lectures uh, on biomolecules, especially carbohydrates, part number 10, I think. Okay, now in this session we will discuss the like protecting groups of uh, protecting groups and protecting reactions of carbohydrates. So in generally carbohydrates, that means uh, here it having the like a uh, polyhydroxy compound which contains aldehyde or ketone functionality aldehydes and ketones readily react with the remaining the remaining is the left out is a uh, hydroxy compounds so now how the hydroxyl groups are protected how the hydroxyl groups are protected in case of cyclic forms generally cyclic forms are having only uh, hydroxyl functionality there is no aldehyde and ketone functionality so in case of cyclic functional uh, cyclic carbohydrates uh, how they are protected generally we have the two types of isomers two types of hydroxyl groups not the isomers so one is a primary hydroxyl group and another one is secondary hydroxyl group primary hydroxyl group and secondary hydroxyl group this is the like based on the classification of a primary secondary tertiary again it having the like another type of another type of alcohols that is 1 comma 2 diols and 1 comma 3 diols two types now here the first one is like a primary and a secondary so generally only one alcohol one alkyl group is attached to the alcoholic carbon then it is called primary now the two groups are connected to each other then it is called secondary okay so the, based on that here two types of uh, alcohols are there so in uh, uh, in our uh, carbohydrates generally these two only occurs now the second one that is a uh, one two diols or one three diols one two diols or one three diols so here these type of alcohols present in our cyclic form so how they are protected what are the protecting reagents which are uh, used in the like a protection of our carbohydrates now what are the conditions uh, and what are the thermodynamic and kinetic products of uh, these type of protecting groups so let us discuss one by one very clearly now the first one is so here the primary alcohols and the secondary alcohols so in cyclic compound of uh, like uh, let us assume the uh, uh, d glucopyranose structure so glucose having the only one primary alcohol remaining all our secondary alcohols okay so especially the primary alcohols protected by the like uh, acid chlorides acid chlorides okay now again the second one is one two diols and one three diols so one two diols it's having the two types of one two diols now here this is the one two diol again this is also one two diol okay now here it is a syn diol this is anti-diol, syn-diol, anti-diol. So now syn or uh, cis-diols, uh, anti or trans-diols, okay. So here it is also called as a cis-diols, trans-diols, okay. Now cis-diols can only give the, like uh, our protecting groups, that means, uh, sorry. So protected, cis-diols can only protected, cis-diols can only protected through the, like uh, acetone. So the, here it is the acetone or 2-methoxy, 2-methoxy propene or like a methyl, methyl, here O-methyl, 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 so these type of compound. So generally these three are the protecting groups of 1,2-diols, uh, especially cis-1,2-diols. Now here acetone in presence of H2SO4, methoxy in presence of tosyl hydroxide, again here also tosyl hydroxide, these two are the like a uh, two phases reaction, our carbohydrates and uh, our H2SO4 acetone are two different phases reaction. So these are the simple uh, protecting groups for the 1,2-diols, protecting groups for the 1,2-diols. So now, so in case of 1,3-diols uh, protection, 1,3-diols protection, we use it the like aldehydes, that is a benzaldehyde or acetaldehyde, these type of aldehydes, it gives the like a, a ethylidine or benzylidine type of uh, compounds, okay. Now, this is the basic introduction of uh, protecting groups of carbohydrates. Now, let us discuss the first, second and third, these three are one by one with a very clear cut examples, okay. Now, let us discuss the first example. Okay, now let us discuss the, our first example that is a protection of primary alcohols. First one is protection of primary alcohols. Protection of primary alcohols in carbohydrates. In carbohydrates. So now let us go through the protection of primary alcohols. Now let us take the like a D glucopyranose. Now here it is the glucose derivative CH2OH. Now here it forms the like cyclic structure. So here it is the alpha D glucose. So if OH is left side, then it is a beta D glucose. H O H O H H H O H 
like here H. Okay, this is the compound. So whenever this compound can write in the like a cyclic conformation here, it is there. Like alpha or beta doesn't matter. Now the second one is right side. According to our Lord rule, right is up downside. Now the second third is upside. Fourth is downside. Fifth is upside. So here it indicates that the like uh, it is the D isomer. So CH2OH at the top position that indicates the uh, like a uh, uh, D configuration D isomer. This is called D glucopyranose. D -gluco Pyranose. If OH is below the plane, then it is alpha. OH is above the plane, then it is beta D glucopyranose. Glucopyranose. So these are the compounds. Now here it having the like secondary alcohol, secondary alcohol, secondary alcohol, secondary alcohol, but it is only primary alcohol. So the primary alcohols in carbohydrates readily forms the esters in presence of colidine with acid chlorides. Now here AC. Cl that is simply it is called as acetyl chloride acetyl chloride in presence of cholidine okay the cholidine is the reaction medium now here it is the pyridine so pyridine having the two four comma six uh, trimethyl pyridine that is nothing but cholidine okay now here these cholidine in presence of cholidines will treat it with acl now it gives the like a uh, esters at a primary alcohol esters are protected in the form of primary uh, Primary alcohols are protected in the form of esters. Okay. Now here OH, OH, OH. This is the OH. Okay. So this is the primary alcohol protection. Now let us go through the like a uh, secondary, uh, sorry, 1 2 diols protection. Okay. Now the second one is. Uh, like a one two diols vicinal diols especially vicinal cis diols can only protected by the like a uh, acetones or uh, two methoxypropene like etc so those type of uh, uh, like a protecting reagents okay now here this is the compound so in case of uh, like a uh, vicinal diols that indicates here it is the above the plane here it is the above the plane that is uh, it is equatorial position this is the axial position both are above the plane those are the like a, a cis compounds okay now here adjacent positions are vicinal okay so same position is geminal adjacent positions are vicinal so now here oh like this or OH is like this. These two types are called cis compounds. These two are cis compounds or in the form of like a cyclic forms. Now here it is the like a glucose mitate. Here it is the above the plane. Here it is the above the plane. These two are the like a, a cis compounds, cis vicinal diodes. Okay. Now here sometimes here it having the like this type of isomer. Here it is the like a above the plane CH2OH, CH2. OH. Now here it is the below the plane CH2OH. It is the 1, 3 diodes. So here it is the above the plane. It is the above the plane. Now here it is below the plane. So these two are protected. Why? Because here the CH2 group is above the plane but uh, here CH2 uh, oxygen OH group is below the plane. That's why these two are protected. Okay. So this is the simplest representation of uh, carbohydrates in case of cyclic forms. Okay. Now here these type of uh, cyclic compounds will treat it with uh, like our acetone acetone in presence of H2SO4. Here we use a 42% H2SO4. Okay. Or like a 2-methoxypropene in presence of tosyl hydroxide and presence of acidic medium. Okay. Now or like a CH methyl methyl here there is no CH O methyl O methyl dimethoxy like a propane okay so 2 comma 2 dimethoxy propane in presence of tosyl hydroxide tosyl hydroxide here it is the two phase reaction now here it the loss of one methanol here the loss of two volts of methanol okay now we will get the compound like this okay now I'll write the compound over here for our convenience here oxygen okay sorry there is no oxygen here O here it is the O okay so here this is the carbonyl compound these two are converted into acetone that's why I'll write the uh, acetone only now here hydrogen now here hydrogen oxygen both uh, these three are eliminated as water molecule these three are eliminated as water molecule now here it creates the like a methyl methyl so this is called acetols this is called acetols here the cis cis Vicinal diols readily forms the acetols in case of uh, trans compounds. Okay, so and compared to the trans uh, vicinal diols, so cis vicinal diols readily forms the acetols. Readily forms the acetols. Now let us go through the these acetol formation in our uh, like uh, in our carbohydrates example. Now we know that uh, alpha glucopyranose structure or beta glucopyranose structure. This is the glucopyranose. OH is above the plane, below the above the plane. 
below the plane CH2OH. CH2 OH. Now here this is the compound. This is the uh, glucopyranose. Okay, now I'll write the compound over here for our place convenient. Okay, OH, 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 CH2 OH, CH2 OH. So whenever we use the like uh, acetone, CH3 C double bond O, CH3 in presence of H2SO4. In presence of H2SO4, it gives the like rearranged product. It gives the rearranged product. Generally, so here it is the like our glucose structure CH2OH. Now here, this is the compound like a cyclic structure HOH, HOH, OH, H, HOH, H. This is the cyclic alpha D glucopyranose. If OH is left side, then it is beta D glucopyranose. Now generally, fifth fifth position, fifth carbon attached OH is forms the like a cyclic compound. Cyclic compound. Now in case of methanols, here in uh, here in case of fifth that is a six membered ring, it gives only one diols, only one cis diols. Okay. So instead of that, it requires two moles of acetone. That indicates two moles of acetone indicates here it is available for the two moles of cis vicinal diols cis vicinal diols so that explains here it cannot forms the fifth position fifth oh cannot forms the like a, a cyclic compound now here it forms the like a fourth attached fourth position attached compound so here it forms the like this type of cyclic structure so here it gives the like a five member ring like five member ring now let us assume this type of structure here five member ring okay so now let us give the numbering three four like this is the five okay or it is five six okay now here one two three four okay so fourth position after that here it having the like a one ch2 oh ch oh now again it having the like a ch2 oh ch2 oh okay now here again the first position it is the right side based on the like alpha or beta d glucose so here it is the oh now again here it is the OH, so that is the right side, both are right side, then it indicates both are downside, okay. Now the fifth one, third one is above the plane, here it is the above the plane, these two are in the same plane in case of alpha D glucose, okay. Now here uh, this fourth position having the like a CHOH, CH2OH, we are already written. Okay, so now here it gives the, this type of isomer. It gives the, this type of isomer. Now here the uh, two moles of acetone uh, are consumed in this reaction. That indicates if the two moles of uh, acetone requires two cis vicinal diols. Okay, now here it is the one cis vicinal diol. Here it is the one cis vicinal diol. Okay, now here it forms the one type of uh, O O like acetols. Again, it forms the another type of acetols. It forms the another type of acetols. So here it is the undergoing the rearrangement reaction through the undergoing of rearrangement reaction. This is the thermodynamic stabilized product. Thermodynamic stabilized product. Now here the same example we used the 2 methoxypropane in presence of DCM at a 0 degree centigrade temperature. 2 methoxypropane in presence of DCM like a tosyl hydroxide at a 0 degree centigrade temperature. So here it undergoes the like 1 3 diol protection instead of 1 2 diol protection. 1 3 diol protection. Now here so cyclic compound. Okay here OH, OH above the plane OH. This OH again CH2OH. So these two are uh, uh, protected. These two are protected with the help of acetone. Now here it forms the acetals. It forms the acetals. So this is the like a temperature here. It is the kinetic controlled product. Kinetic controlled or kinetic stabilized product. Okay. Now here uh, let us remember these two points. Acetone in presence of uh, sulfuric acid uh, that is a room temperature reaction. It gives the rearranged product. Rearranged product here. Two moles of acetone are required. That indicates here requires uh, two moles of uh, cis vicinal diols. Two moles of cis vicinal diols are protected in the form of acetols, diacetols. Okay. Now here that is the thermodynamic stable product. Now here instead of uh, acetone, we use the two methoxypropene in, in in DCM uh, like at a zero degree centigrade temperature. Here only one one equivalent is uh, is enough. One equivalent is enough. So that one equivalent is uh, not one two diol preparation protection here it is one three diol protection one comma three diol protection now let us go through the one three diol protection okay so this is clear i think it is clear for each and every one
Okay, now let's discuss the final uh, example that is 1 comma 3 diode protection. Uh, protection. Now here 1 comma 3 diode protection. Here it is the sin 1 comma 3 or it may be possible for the trans 1 comma 3. Okay, here both the cis and the trans 1 comma 3 diode pro protected through the aldehyde derivatives. Okay, now here if benzaldehyde are used, benzaldehydes are used. So here the benzaldehydes are protected. O, like here it is the O, O. So this is the protected group. Phenyl H, phenyl H that is called benzaldehyde. Okay. So instead of benzaldehyde we use the acetaldehyde. We will get the ethylidine derivatives. Ethylidine derivatives. So these are used in our carbohydrates reactions, carbohydrate product, especially our favorite compound that is glucopyranose. O H, O H, O H. OH now here it is the CH2OH CH2OH whenever these compound can uh, uh, pro treated with one mole of benzaldehyde one mole of benzaldehyde in presence of acid okay so uh, especially not only benzaldehyde we use the phenyl CHO methyl O methyl okay so whenever it undergoes the hydrolysis reaction it uses the benzaldehyde only it gives the benzaldehyde only in presence of CSA okay camphor sulfonic acid camphor uh, camphor sulfonic acid so this is the structure of uh, camphor sulfonic acid okay now here this is the compound camphor sulfonic acid now what are the position the so now here it is the camphor sulfonic acid so this camphor sulfonic acid medium will gives the like only one protection one equivalent protection that is one three diol protection so here it is the like one two diols one two diols now here one two three diols okay it is protected it is protected now here CH2O now here O so these two are protected by the like in the form of benzaldehyde in the form of benzaldehyde OH OH like here it is the OH okay whenever these compounds can be written in cyclic chain form it is a very interesting uh, di diagram okay now let us uh, draw the, these type of compounds in cyclic form so here it is the cyclic chain conformation. So uh, whether it is beta is uh, alpha D glucose or beta D glucose doesn't matter. OH, OH, OH. This is the OH. Okay. Now here it is the like a uh, uh, cyclic chain conformation. Here it is the one three diodes. These two are protected. That means here these two are protected uh, with the help of aldehydes, whether benzaldehyde or acetaldehyde doesn't matter. Okay. Now here in presence of CSA, it gives the, these type of product. It gives the this type of product. Okay, now here it is the CH2O. Here O. Okay, that is the O. Again, here it is the like a uh, hydrogen and phenyl. Hydrogen and phenyl. So it is protected by the oxygen. It is protected by the oxygen. So this is the very interesting diagram. Very interesting diagram. So here it is the like protected group, protecting group of uh, our carbohydrates. The generally protected groups are acetones or uh, aldehydes. Okay, ketones are aldehydes. It gives the like corresponding acetones on the benzaldehyde, ethylene product. Okay, that's all for this video. So now I'll give the one question for uh, previous year get. So let us assume the yourself. Let us give your option in comment box. Okay, now I'll give the one of the uh, get previous year question. So if you watch the video until ending, definitely you'll solve the, those gate problem without any hesitation. Okay. Now I'll give the a uh, gate problem. Okay. Now let us solve this previous year gate problem. This is a 2019, a 2009, not the 19 gate problem for two marker. It is very easier problem. So if you watch the video until ending, definitely you will choose the option without any hesitation, without uh, any like thinking. Okay. Among the four options, which is correct. So if D glucose will treat it with acetone, it gives the Y. It treated with benzaldehyde, it gives the X. So among the uh, these two reactions, now the major product of X and Y are Okay, the first one is X and the second one is Y. So among the four options, which is correct? Now let us go through the first one. So uh, here, but D glucose, D glucose will treat it with a compound like here O. Okay, now here we will treat it with a, this type of compound. So this is the D glucose. Whether it is alpha or beta, they didn't give in the like a uh, complete information regarding to the alpha or the beta. Okay, now here it is the glucose compound. Will treated with a benzaldehyde. It forms the, this type of aldehyde uh, group. Now here it gives the, this type of reaction. Okay, so here it is the benzaldehyde. It is the benzaldehyde. So among the four, so which is the first one? Okay, now here it is uh, seems to be our option. So A, it may be possible, or D it is also possible. So both B and C are wrong. B and C are wrong. 
So among these two, uh, A and D, among these two, which is correct? We don't know which is correct, okay? Now, so D glucose will treat it with acetone. They didn't mention it is two moles, okay? So if it is treated with acetone, it gives the definitely rearranged product. So among these two, which is the rearranged product? So obviously, fourth one is rearranged product of uh, Y. So whenever D glucose will treat it with uh, like uh, our acetone reagent in presence of acidic medium, it gives the rearranged product. It requires two moles of acetone. That indicates that those two moles of acetone which is uh, which are utilized by the two cis vicinal diols so those two are the cis vicinal diols those two are the cis vicinal diols here it forms the two types of acetols two moles of diacetol derivative functionality okay that's all for this video this is very easier question so while uh, while you solve the previous year problems you will get the these type of problems a very easier a very easier and easier method okay thank you so much for watching